What's up guys? So uh, got a beautiful day out here. You can see right there, not even a cloud in the sky. I think it's about 65 degrees today in Northern Missouri in December. That's actually really good. So uh, got a few things I want to show you that we're going to get installed on the truck today. Got some savings for Black Friday and uh, I'll probably put these in separate videos just so it's more instructional on how to install and everything. But we got a coolant bypass and a Felice PowerFlow 750 CP3. So stay tuned. We'll get some install videos going here pretty quickly. Also gonna change my oil, rotate my tires today. A lot to do. Let's get going. All right, so guys, uh, got the hood up, got uh, batteries disconnected on both sides. And here is the CP3. I'm gonna try and set you guys up to where you can see everything, but you gotta unplug the wiring harness, take all of the fuel lines off, and then you take the case off the front, which is right down here. I believe that's just a 3 8 ratchet. Uh, there's no socket needed to take the cover off, and then there's a bolt there, and then there's three 13 millimeter bolts on the back side of the CP3, and then it should come off, put the new one on, and uh, should be done. Pretty straightforward. A little bit labor intensive just because some of the stuff is hard to reach, but. Hopefully we'll get her done without any problems. What I'm about to do is show your love. So here we have a clear example of when it says, I don't know if you can read, do not over tighten. And uh, you crank down on it, so you break it. And it's my only vehicle, so I can't exactly drive it to the store to get another part. So I gotta fix it to drive it to the store to get a new part. So, uh, JB Weld, epoxy. It'll hold for a while, at least. Oh well. So here is the old CP3. It is filthy. It's got 170,000 miles on it, but who knows? I might throw it on top of the 10 mil that I just bought uh, later on. Get more power. I don't know. We'll see. If anybody needs one, let me know because I don't really need it anymore. So the. Uh, New CP3 is on, everything is tightened up, plugged in, snugged up, but as you saw inside, I broke the access cover that goes on the front cover, so I'm waiting on that to set now before I put it back on and see if it leaks. Thanks for tuning in today. Uh, I had some issues with the coolant bypass, so that is going to have to wait. I uh, had to put it back together to go get some tools like I said earlier. It's my only vehicle at the moment, so um, got the pump installed, got it back running, got my old chains, ran out of daylight to uh, rotate my tires, so we'll do that and do the coolant bypass probably sometime next week. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and take care.